Hey guys, Jared here from Focus Group Florida, Keller Williams Realty, and um, welcome to our Southern Living Virtual Open House. Uh, we call it Southern Living because the floor plan has Savannah in the name, so I've got some country music to start us off. Some of you may know this one from Ray Lynn. I thought it was a cute song. Somebody got a pretty skirt. Somebody got a pretty that's a pretty southern accent if you ask me what do you think <laughs> okay that was fun i just thought she had one of the most southern accents that i can think of off the top of my head so that would be a nice little intro today okay so we're talking about the savannah and where it can be built um one of the beauties of this particular builder uh southern homes is they have lots of communities over lots of areas throughout central florida this particular floor plan, when I looked up yesterday, uh, the information, uh, 18 different locations, one of those being you can build on your land. And we'll talk about that a little bit a little bit later. So let me run down. I'm referring to my notes because there's so many things I don't want to miss anything. Okay. So we've got North Lakeland, South Lakeland, Bartow, Auburndale, Winter Haven, Haines City, Frostproof, Avon Park, Sebring. Okay, so that's just the locations and within those towns, those areas, some of them have multiple locations for you, okay? Um, but anyway, so lots of different locations throughout Central Florida. Some of those are what we call traditional neighborhoods. They're just a, a neighborhood um, and it's just got the houses in them. Some of them are gated so that they're secluded and gated off. Uh, some of them are on golf courses. Some of them are waterfront. Um, some of them you'll notice it's uh, one section together and all of the homes are there. Some of them they're scattered where the builder bought scattered home sites within the development. Um, so they're all a little bit different, a little bit unique, depending on what you're looking for, depending on what you like. Uh, there's something available for you. So just keep in mind, there's 18 different possibilities for you. And when we talk about um, financing a little bit later, uh, there's a reason for the big swing in, in the cost and the pricing, also because of the locations and the amenities and things like that. Okay, this one we're talking about, we're talking about the Savannah floor plan. So I actually have a visual aid that I'll go over with you. So uh, it's a, I, I couldn't work out how to do the um, screen thing, so I'll just show you. This is sort of old school, sorry about that. Okay, so it's either a three or a four bedroom plan, split split bedroom. So you come in and you've got this nice uh, nice front porch and it comes in different elevations, talk about it a bit. You come in, on this side you've got sort of your nook, which is sort of your informal dining area and your nice kitchen. And see this, this is a breakfast bar that opens up to this whole area, which is very, very nice. This dotted line means that it's volume ceilings. So there's uh, vaults in here, and you've got a more formal style dining. Even though it's open, you've got more dining here with your great room set up. Now, in the uh, in what we call the base floor plan, the standard floor plan, see how this is a, a den or study? So typically, there's just like a doorway right here. You can add French doors, but that's nice if you want a den, a study, an office, a playroom, somewhere for homeschool, something like that. And then if you come to this side of the house, and you can see the other bedrooms. Uh, with the hall bath that has access for guests. So very nice. And if you look down on this corner here, you can see how it can be easily converted to the four bedroom with the door coming on the hallway and the closet right there. We come over to the garage. See how the garage is nice and long? You got this extended part right here, which is pretty nice and convenient. Come on in. You got your, uh, your utility room. You can add a laundry tub if you like. There's enough room to do that. And then you come back here and you see this dining area. You can have an optional bay window which is very nice. It gives a lot of natural light, uh, opens up the floor plan a little bit, gives a little bit more space. It comes with a, a nice patio back. If you like to add uh, uh, just a normal lanai, a screened in lanai, extended lanai, that's uh, one of the options that you can do. If you come into the master suite, it's very nice, 15 by 14. You can add a tray ceiling, no problem. And in the uh, traditional layout, you've got this huge walk-in closet shower only concept you can have one or two sinks with your toilet now if you look over to the side i don't know if you can see this very well or not but you can have this optional owner suite which is absolutely great huge walk-in still but then you've got your uh, shower uh, separate shower separate soaking tub in the corner with your uh, double vanity and sort of your little uh, water closet area there so that's the general floor plan and um, we're going to talk about the landing page in a sec but on the landing page, we put a little video together, or my son Ben did. If you need a video, he's awesome. He can do anything like that. Okay, so 
the features, the interior and exterior features that come in the home really depend on the community, the community specific. And what I mean by that is some of the communities are, you know, take it to the most affordable point you can. And so they'll have less expensive flooring, less expensive cabinets and countertops, um, less expensive landscaping, uh, typically, not always, but typically smaller home sites, really trying to bring the cost down so it's more affordable and more people can buy a house. Then you've got some other more luxurious communities where all those things are out the window, perhaps a larger home site, uh, perhaps upgraded landscaping, um, some things like uh, more luxury flooring and countertops and cabinets and all those things are already included in that price. So you really have to look into the details on that. But one nice thing about Southern Homes is that you can make it personal just for yourself. So if you go into one of these affordable neighborhoods that you love to get into the, that great initial value, you can personalize the Humphrey stuff. So you want to add the different flooring, you want to add the different kitchens, you want to change up a few things, you can. Now, one thing you may or may not be aware of is the My Home, My Way program, which is actually fantastic. It's not custom, that's not how it is, but you can customize. There's a few things you can do. So for example, let's say you had that, uh, that den in that study in that particular house. Uh, one of the things that you might be able to do is go in there and just take out that wall completely and make a huge great room. That's one thing that we could ask for, all right? Um, another thing you could do is let's say that you like this layout of the master bath, but you really don't need the tub, you'd rather have a larger shower. That's something you request, you can request a, a plumbing change. Now, it all has to be approved, but yes, that's something you might be able to do. Um, let's say, for example, so we did the interior wall, we did the interior, then you get an exterior wall. So let's say you like this and the home site gives you an opportunity to make it the bedrooms a little bit bigger. You might be able to take this and move it over two feet, maybe four feet. Again, that's a request that we can put through. And remember, as a realtor, with my realtor hat on, when I help you with these things, I'm on your side and I'll help you try and work out all this stuff out to make it the best for you, the best solution for you. And uh, don't forget that as a, a buyer, um, as I present you as a buyer, there's no cost to you. The seller pays the commission to the realtors. And by the way, there's no savings to you either if you don't take your realtor. So um, might as well have representation, a, a third party uh, on your side. Another way to personalize, we briefly mentioned earlier, is on your uh, elevation, and that's your curb appeal. Sometimes they have different columns, sometimes they have different stone options, sometimes the windows have a slightly different look to them. And then, of course, just your, your typical things like your uh, shingles and your paint colors and things like that. When you're doing it from scratch and it's not a spec home, then that's something that you can, uh, that you can do. Um, okay, let's move on to uh, home sites. Uh, home sites um, range wildly, and uh, frankly, a lot of it has to do with cost and uh, more desirable and uh, and uh, the location, well, the ones that everyone wants to go to, the, the land to purchase it is more expensive. It's just the way it is, just like a house. That's why you can have the same house, almost identical, in lots of different places with lots of different pricing. A lot of it has to do with the land and the cost of the land. Um, so anyway, and these home sites go typically for this particular home, the tip is going to be 60 or 70 feet wide at a minimum, all the way up to three quarter acre plus. And then if you're building on your own land, of course, you could have one, two, five, 10, 50, 100 acres. Uh, we've done all sorts of things, uh, um, uh, situations like that. But um, what's nice about this particular situation is when we look at the pricing, unless it's on your land, it includes the home site and all the other things that come with it. So it's amazing, really, really great value. All right, so um, moving on to the builder. So if you haven't, most people have heard about Southern Homes. I worked for them for almost a decade. Great company, great product. I live in a Southern home. Um, love the people, absolutely fantastic. The warranties are great. Don't forget on a brand new home, a lot of the products inside the house have their own warranty. So you've heard my example, when my AC went out year four, it was under a five-year manufacturer warranty, and they fixed it, took care of it, and it was done. I didn't have to mess with it, okay? So it's absolutely great. Um, usually there's a, two, a 210 warranty, so second year, mechanicals, uh, behind the wall, things are covering up to 10 years structural. And when I was there all those years, we had no claims. Absolutely fantastic, just no claims. It's just not something you have to worry about. All right, finally, so this is the fun bit. This is the bit where we talk about the money. Um, now, let's go back to the house. It was um, three or four bedrooms. So it's either a three bedroom with a den or four bedroom with a two bath. It's uh, 2,333 square feet total. So over 2,300 square feet total. Uh, 1,776, almost 1,800 square feet under air. 
Now the pricing of about the share is what's current, so it does always change, just to let you know, and the promotions change too. But it's from 182.9, that includes the land for a brand new house, all the way up to 288.9. Okay, so 182.9, two in, land included. Absolutely fantastic. I can't tell you how wonderful this is. If someone had to come to me and they wants to build a custom home, it's very, very hard for me to get even close to these numbers. When you build with production style builders that build hundreds of homes, they get better deal on prices, on quantities, on everything. That's just the way it is. Now, there's a place for this. People love production homes. I help tons of people into these type of homes. Um, they're absolutely great. If you want something that's just more custom, more like you want everything to be how you want it, then you come to somebody like me with my Focus Homes hat on, and we design and build one for you. But in this particular case, the home and the land is a package, 182.9229. Fantastic. Okay, number two. Most people, not all, but most people purchase their home with financing with a mortgage, and when you use one of the preferred lenders, zero closing costs. So no closing costs out of your pocket as a buyer, when you buy one of those. So 182 to 288 includes all the closing costs. So that's it. What does that mean for you? It means you have more money in your pocket after closing. Yes, you're typically gonna have a down payment. However, some of these communities even qualify for USDA financing. That's funny, US Department of Agriculture, but the USDA loans. What are those? Those are 100% loans, zero down loans. Some of these qualify. So you could get in with zero down, zero closing costs, and have a brand new home. Kind of a no-brainer, okay? Anyway, so as you can see, I'm pretty passionate about this. This is a pretty amazing product. For those people looking for something like this, it's absolutely amazing for them, okay? Okay, then the coup de gras, the final little cherry on top, is currently there's a promotion up to $20,000 in free options. I mean, it's unbelievable. Okay, so what does that mean? So you sit down with your building consultant and say, okay, I love this house. Uh, yeah, great. You pick the model. It happened to be 220, 900, whatever that, you know, whatever location you chose. Okay, that's the, that's the price. Fantastic. All right, now you got $20,000 to spend. How would you like to spend it, Mr. Buyer? Okay, well, how about I have, let's look on the plan again. How about I uh, put in this luxury master bath? I like to look at that. How about I put that bay window on there? I like to look at, oh, how about we make that the four bedroom? All included. And then typically there's money left over after you do that. So that, okay, and how about I upgrade my countertops? How about some flooring over here? How about this? It's, it's fantastic, it's amazing. So you can really personalize the house specifically for you, your needs, your wants, your desires, and um, it's all within the budget. It's absolutely fantastic. So that's the breakdown of the Savannah. Um, I'm going to go over our landing page quickly with you. Um, you can't see it, but it's on this screen here, just doing a brief rundown for you. So in the post, when we're done, it'll have a link to the landing page that Ben created specifically for this floor plan. So you go on, of course, you can sign up on the virtual open house if you want me to contact you, which I hope you do. Um, we have a nice video uh, about the house. Um, this, this one you'll see, it's got the optional um, master suite. So you'll see how that looks uh, in person. We've got a little link on here so you can download the artificial intelligence powered app. If you haven't done it, I would highly recommend it. It's just cool. It's just cool. You can go on there and it's like Netflix and start learning and learning as you're using it. Okay. So just like when you go in, like when I want to watch this afternoon, click on it, says this, this show is a 98% match. Okay. It's learning in the background what you like. Okay. It's just cool that way. So anyway. So that's the, that's the app, that's the landing page, that's what I wanted to go over with you. So when we're all said and done, we've got that, uh, that link right there for you, so you can go in and, and learn a little bit more about it. Um, okay, also within the post, I'm going to put on there um, my phone number and text message, please just call me or text me um, if you have questions or you'd like to set up a showing in any particular communities or if you'd like to find out some more about specific things. Um, um, and of course, I've got to ask you while we're here, by the way, who do you know at Church or Work looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate? This is one of our businesses, it's pure real estate, just helping anybody with whatever they can do. So if you know anybody, please, please pass them on. Please share this with them, because it may not affect you personally, but you know, man, that might be great for somebody. And just realize, too, that there's over 20 floor plans available. So we're just going over this one right now. There may be something that better suits your needs, okay, whether it be smaller, whether it be larger. Um, some of these go up well over 3,000 square feet um, and pretty luxurious. And then they also go down smaller and they're much more affordable. So we can go over that as well. 
Um, okay, so that's that. And then finally, always um, during COVID-19, I'd like to thank everybody who's working the tail off out there. Uh, I'm really excited for May 4th. A lot of other companies are gonna be open, I know that on a limited basis, but thank you so much for all of them, all the small business owners who are just trying to grind it out. It is not an easy thing. It's just taking a lot out of us, but if we do it together, we can, uh, we can raise up and be even better. I'm kind of excited about what's going to happen afterwards because we've all learned new skills and things while this has been going on. And uh, it, I only believe it's going to help the consumers in the end. Um, please check our Facebook page. Um, when new things come up, we'll put on the events there for you so you can, um, so you can see what other uh, virtual open houses are coming soon. And uh, that's it for now. So I hope you enjoyed our virtual uh, open house of the uh, Savannah. We'll finish off with Ray Lynn in the background, just because I think her uh, southern accent is fantastic. Um, and that's it. So have yourself a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. And bye for now. See ya. Bye-bye.